everybody. Hello, everybody, and happy whatever is today. Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say Wednesday. <laughs> Apparently, keeping up with the days of the week is very hard. Hey, you know, it'd be nice to know if you guys have that trouble, too. Yeah. Do you guys have trouble now with COVID and everything else, knowing, or just because of general life, having trouble to know what day of the week it is? Because I sure do. Especially because, like, at work, we're always working on the next day or future days. We're never working on today, so I never know what today is. Yeah. <laughs> so it's kind of interesting. Pretty much when you go to work, you're doing the same thing over and over, so you don't really know what day yeah. it is. Yeah. So if you, if you have that trouble, let us know. It'd be kind of interesting yeah. to know. Yeah. But happy Tuesday. Hope you guys had a beautiful day. <clears throat> We got off um, work and thought we'd go ahead and do the um, thingy now. So if you're able to join us, that's awesome. If not, that's okay too. Mom's in the kitchen. I think she's trying to join. She might be playing a podcast or something. She's mm -hmm. fancy. She knows a lot of stuff we don't. Mm -hmm. She so, sure does. Yes. And we hit, um, we're experimenting. We hit this thing called backgrounds. It's supposed to be like a lake view. And it looks like it's on there. So I don't know if it really is or not. So... Um, if we look like we're on a lake, that's why. I want to touch it with this one. Touch it and see. Okay. Mm, nope. Oh, wait, yes. Look. Now it looks like we're in your Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Mom. Thanks for joining us. She said it looks like we're in our dining room. It says, use this background in your live video. Hmm. Yeah. I did it. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know, so we'll see. Yeah, we'll see how it works. <laughs> Anyways, but so today is, um, of course, um, July 14th, and it's Luke 14. Yeah. And um, today was kind of, um, it's ones we know, we all have heard these before in church and stuff, but um, for my, I have the first half, and you know, the Pharisees are always like just watching and critiquing and judging Jesus. And so he knows it, of course, too. And so they're trying to judge him. It's a, sun, a Sabbath. And um, they're judging him and watching him very closely, carefully is what it says, um, to see if he's going to heal somebody on the Sabbath. And um, so Jesus even responds to them and says, um, would you guys not like heal your kid or if an ox gave birth and um, the baby ox fell in the well or whatever, mm -hmm. wouldn't you help save it and heal it and get it better? And of course they would. And so he's kind of saying it's the same thing. So you have to use common sense. They take, remember, the, they take their uh, laws, the man-made laws, and make it hard. Yeah. Harder than it has to be. God's like just saying use common sense. So anyways. Um, they actually traded off the... God's laws for their man-made laws. Yeah. Yeah, and, and, and you can't even do God's laws. I mean, if you read through the Ten Commandments and compare where you're at with that, you know, you're going to find yourself short. Mm -hmm. But um, to add moron, uh, it makes no sense. No, moron. and you just called me a moron. moron. Yeah. <laughs> moron. That's funny. <laughs> moron laws. And then I also had the part about, um, the uh, grab that part, the parable at the wedding feast. And that one's kind of a nice reminder, too, because it's basically what I get out of it is just, you know, don't be proud and go, like, when you go somewhere or do something, or in particular what I think, because, you know, it's a parable, it's relating to something, um, like the kingdom of God is what I kind of think of it as it is for me. But don't be proud thinking, oh, I'm a Christian and I do, I go to church every Sunday, so I get to go up to the front of the line. I don't have to wait behind all these um, sinners. Mm -hmm. And that's not always the case. You need to, and so what it's kind of saying is, wait and have God um, come and get you and say, you know, because it's nothing that we do. It's a reminder of it's not our works, but it's God's grace that saves us. So mm -hmm. if God wants us to come to the front, he'll come mm -hmm. get us. Otherwise, we need to sit in the back where we belong. Because <laughs> we don't deserve the front table. <laughs> so anyways. I like that. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> I could be wrong, but that's what I take out of it. Yeah. Well, and let's see. And it kind of goes with the rest of this, too. Um, I guess it's my turn. Woohoo! So, uh, there's a parable of the great banquet. Um, there was a... Uh, sorry. Ooh, Glasses. There they are. Blink, blink, blink. But um, uh, Jesus was talking about a, a, a banquet where... Uh, and basically, it's God. But he's saying a, a man had a great banquet and invited all his guests around him to come. And uh, it's almost, almost kind of talking about, um, you know, he said... Okay, he makes a banquet, he sends out the guests to come, he says everything's ready, but they don't come. Right. They all make excuses. Mm hmm So God goes around those people and says, okay, well then go 
find other people mm -hmm. and uh, have them come to the banquet. Which would be like the Gentiles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so uh, some of them come and some of them don't, but eventually he ends up going to the poor in the, in the street and everything else, and he keeps inviting people. The and, tax collectors. Yeah, tax collectors. <laughs> and all those guys. I'm buttoning in his story. Yeah, and um, it's good. It makes it fun. So, what was the next part? Well, I don't know. I was just going with what you said. <laughs> <laughs> but the bottom line is that, you know, uh, when God calls us, I mean, you know, we don't really need to come up with excuses not to go. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the most important thing that can happen. Us, so. um, but God does come out and look for us. And, uh, yeah, there's more to that, but I kind of totally lost it. Because <laughs> of me? No. Oh. No. Because <laughs> you joined in on my site. I like your comments. I like your comments too. I like no, no, your comments are great. I was yeah. just, uh, I lost what I was going to say. Well, these are stories that we hear all the time. It's not, I guess that's why it was kind of hard to put notes to it because it's stuff that we kind of all have heard before and know. Yeah. So it's kind of hard to put notes to it, really. Yeah. And um, it's not, a, I don't know. I like how you, I like your story with the, you know, it's not that easy up and the ups to get to sit up there and wait for God to call you up to the table. Yeah. It, that's kind of the same thing with this one, too. It is. So. And what I, what I would take out of the banquet, too, is kind of like, um, you know, we're privileged to, you know, like, don't, like, if you hear the call from God, don't make excuses and put it off. Do it. Mm hmm Yeah. So, that kind of thing. Because, I mean, the rest of it's about the cost of discipleship. Mm -hmm. And God, God says to put everything compared to Him last. Yeah. You know, so. But if we do that, then we'll be blessed. So. I like it. That's cool. Yeah. Yay. Yay. Well, short and sweet on Tuesday. Oh, good morning. Oh, I have to play with the background thing and see if that'll work. Yeah. That'd be fun. Oh, I'm still working at home because obviously um, I don't have any makeup on. And I got a tank top on, so. You don't need makeup. Oh, you're sweet. I'm glad you're blind. <laughs> <laughs> We're good. Mm -hmm. You're sweet. All right, guys. Well, we love you. Yeah, we do. And Tomorrow is Wednesday. It is. The 15th of July. And we're going to read Luke 15. Yes. Yes. Well, don't forget to let us know anything. We love your feedback. Yeah. And we'll Send us what comments. What you guys have been up to lately. I mean, yeah. What are you guys doing for fun during being stuck in the house? Yeah. Are you playing games, watching videos? Are you, Reading uh, the Bible? Reading the Bible. <laughs> yeah. Just shoot us, like, even put comments on here, like, because we love looking at your comments. And if you have questions, we'll go back and um, answer them and look at them. Love questions. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, I mean, it helps us to learn when we get questions. It does. Yeah. yeah. And do you guys still like this? We definitely don't want to do it if you don't like it, but I think you do. I think yeah. some of you do. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we love right. you. And we'll see you tomorrow. Adios. <laughs> Bye.